Hey, we're going to uh, Audio Power Tools. Uh, these are my friends. They have a great little boutique on some pro audio gear. Let's take a walk down. Check it out. We're in the Williamsburg sec section of, of Brooklyn. It used to be a dump here. Now it's a uh, top-notch area. Hi, I'm Dan Felix. Blue Wilding. I would like to tell you that I think you have the most interesting pro audio spot Lovely. in New York. Thank you. I want to ask you a few questions about how this place came about, what's the concept behind the place, mm -hmm. and what you're trying to bring to the public as far as the pro audio consumer. You know from us working together at the Guitar Center and the frustrations we had of like being able to take care of people and do business and get gear and listen to gear and you know. Blue came from the rep side, so we actually started talking about what would be the ultimate sort of environment for doing that, like what would, would we see really work. Yeah, we just started sharing the same opinions about the same sort of uh, the positives that we saw and negatives that we saw about how it gets done and how manufacturers are represented here and uh, how difficult it is in some cases for people to try the gear that they're interested in. Forget about buying it, just trying it. You know, how do you, we all, we all know what the standard pair of jeans feel like, but you know, when you're spending upwards of thousand, two thousand, four thousand, eight thousand dollars on a piece of gear, you certainly want to check it out before you drop that kind of coin. And how do you think it's getting received? Fortunately, we took the time to ask a lot of people. We didn't just sort of invent, you know, what we thought would work and then run out and do that. Obviously, that was the core of it. But, you know, we then took the idea to a handful of clients we'd worked with for a long time and to ask them, what do you like? What do you not like? Where do you get your gear? How do you get it? How do you try it? How do you buy it? Do you buy it in New York or do you buy it out of state to save tax? You know, what, what do you do? So we kind of refined it from there. And then we asked them specifically about what products they're using, what products they're interested in, and checked it against the list of what we thought the, the top 500 hot things and uh, through that list we figured out what we thought would be a good array of stuff to have on hand. So I want to ask you guys a little bit about your past and the story. I was fortunate enough to grow up in a pretty musical household. My dad was in the business, he was a songwriter, uh, wrote some stuff back in the day in the Brill building and at one point he took me to the studio when I was little. It was actually Tom Waits session, actually he was recording Skeleton Bones. I remember walking and I was a really little kid and there was this one of the first I think it was an SSL, I don't even remember, a giant you know, console. And lights were low and they had the vibe going and I just remember seeing the console and just, it hit me like a ton of bricks. No, oh, I actually, you know, grew up from a very young age playing music, playing, you know, learned guitar, piano, um, kind of played bass a little, you know, just grew up that way, got into like, you know, kind of was into some punk bands and then I was also into dance music at the same time. Like I loved like old industrial EBM stuff, really synth driven kind of like music. So that's sort of where I came up from, like mainly learning how to make that kind of stuff. You know, that's sort of where the technical side of things came in. I've been in and out of a few, you know, working in and out of a few studio places, like mainly in projects that would go into those like studios. Uh, and I was always fascinated by like the gear and the racks and the consoles and yeah, I just really geeked out about that stuff. So every time I'd go in for a session, I'd like learn something. You know, I'd be like, what's that thing do? What 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 does that do? What's that sound like? And I just really had a passion for it. Just my nature, you know. The key point about what we're about though is we're less. We've always been. I've definitely always felt like I've been less of a salesman and more of a, more enablers. We enable your addiction. That's amazing. It's a very expensive <laughs> addiction. <laughs>